Hey guys, so I wanted to get a little bit more in depth in creating fixture profiles and we're gonna create um, multi-cell fixture profiles. So uh, the first thing that I would do when you click add fixtures and go to create new, you're gonna find your um, manufacturer and you're gonna enter your name. And then when you get to multi-cell, you're obviously going to turn this on. And now this is going to prompt you for the number of cells. So I'm gonna show you quickly how um, the sky panel does it. And we're actually gonna do, actually let's do um, mode 25 since that is a 16-bit um, profile and I can show you that as well. So uh, for for 16-bit profile, mode 25, if we were to do an S120. So S120s have, as you can see, three, four cells. After that, you can have up to 12 in the 360. But if it's four cells, it's using 64 channels, but it uses one more. On the 65th channel, it uses the fan control. So we are going to put number of cells here as four because it's, again, a four cell fixture. But then the DMX footprint, we're going to put as 65, okay? And we're gonna click save. And now we're going to get prompted for our first channel. Now, the thing about cells is they are all the same. So we only need to create one cell and it will replicate uh, really easily. So if we look in here, uh, channel one, this is going to be in the cell, okay? So we're gonna flip this to cell, and then the bit we're gonna flip to 16. And if you don't know how 16-bit works, it basically takes two channels and it combines them in order to get this value. So 250, zero to 255 times 255 gets you this number. So as you increment on the first channel, if this was channel one and this is channel two, as you increment on the first channel, this has to go through 255 steps before this increments another one. So it goes one, and then this goes all zero to 255, and then this goes two. So it's very fine-tuned control to get you this amount of number, 65,535. So that's what we're doing. But for us, we've simplified this to basically um, putting this as a 16-bit mode, which means it's gonna already use channel two. So you don't need to think about that. You just select the parameter, and type dimmer and now you just click next and as you can see it auto advances to channel 3 which is here so there's no high bit and low bit channel or coarse and fine channel that you need to add in blackout it just it does that for you so channel 3 is color temperature so select parameter we're gonna look for CCT and then they go from 2800 to 10,000 and then our base we like, of course, as 3200. Now, again, this is cell, 16-bit. As you can see, this changed the value here. So we're gonna go um, next, and we're on channel five, so that's green magenta. So we're gonna go tint, and this is cell, 16-bit, and the user value is negative 100 to 100. Now, I know they break it up, and I can show you how we, we deal with this later, but for now, this is how you set up tint, okay? And we're gonna click next, and now we're on seven, which is crossfade, so we're gonna look up crossfade, and head cell next, nine is red, cell 16 bit, next, green, then blue, then white. And now we are done with our cells. That is the cell. So the one last parameter that we have to do, remember, is the fan control, and that is on channel 65 if we're doing an S, uh, S120 right here so what we're going to do is we're going to go back here we're going to now rename this to channel 65. we're going to keep the head cell or the head um, switch unchecked because we want this to be in the head channel because this is separate from the cells 
as it's a fan control, okay? This is only an 8-bit channel, and then we're going to select the parameter, and we're going to type in fan, okay? I'm going to click fan, we're going to return, and then this we want to be a button. Now the button, because you don't need this to be a slider to slide through all these values, you just want to be able to put this into different modes quickly. So you only need a button in fixture controls to be able to, when you're looking at fan control, have these different items. Now, if for some reason this was like a moving light parameter and, you know, sometimes they have like random adjust rate, you know, it's from 80 to 100, then you also want both selected because you could select this button that's like random and then you would also have a slider and fixture controls next to it where you could adjust the rate. So that's when we would use both. But for now, fan, button. And we're going to click finish. And this populates into our fixture profile. And that's it. So um, if we were to go back and we were to now patch this, number two, patch one at one, just to show you this, and we are going to go to channel view, and this is our multi-cell channel. So if we were to just open up one cell, you can see these are all of the cell parameters. And if we were to open up our head channel, you would see that is our head parameter. Now I went over multi-cell syntax, so you should know if you click one, you're getting all of them in fixture controls, which is what we see here. And now fan, because we put in button and we did not add anything, we get nothing here. So this is something where I will show you this um, right now. If we go into patch, oh, so if you wanted to adjust your fixture, right, you need to unpatch it. So we're going to unpatch this channel, and now we're going to go back to add fixtures. And we can scroll back down to Jeff's test number two. And once I click in this, now we're going to just, again, tap in this, um, in this row here of fan to get into the functions. And we're going to go ahead and create new. And this is where I would start typing all of these. So just so you can see, you can type in both if they have extra things. But so I would type in like, um, you know, uh, oopsies. fixture setting here and if you wanted to enter fixture description so it's more detailed you could be like uses fan mode of of setting in fixture menu you know you could type that in here but for right now we don't need to do this um, so we're going to type in and this is all we need to type in is the from values and the two values so from 0 to 3 um, that's all we need to do so if we go from 0 two, three. And now again, this is going to be dependent on what you put your user min and user max at. So if you wanted to get these values uh, more precise, then, you know, for buttons, it doesn't matter because it's just going to pick the middle number between these to get you into that mode. But some channels you may want, uh, they have finer increments from zero to 255. So back in the channel creation, the parameter, you want to put your user min at zero and your user max is 255, then here you would be able to use these numbers. However, when we created it, let me just go back and show you, fan is from zero to 100. This is what I'm talking about. If we were to swipe left and click edit, this is what I'm talking about. If you wanted to do fine tune increments, if I did zero to 255 now, Okay, and I click save. Now when I click into here and I'm creating my functions and I did um, fixture setting here, now my from value would be from zero to nine. Okay, so I'm gonna go from zero to nine instead of zero to three. So that's it. And it, it really does not make a difference what you do uh, as long as you make sure you're aware of which value you're doing because if you're putting zero to three, it's going to have a different consequence if you have this is your user min to user max. So we're going to save that, and then we're going to create new, and you can do any one of these. So let's do quiet, um, and we're going to put this from 10 to 57 now. 
save and we'll do one more and we'll do this as a uh, variable and we're going to put this from 58 to uh, 105 okay and now let's go ahead and patch in uh, this light one at one okay go back into channel view scroll up here here now we see our fan buttons so that's how you get buttons in fan control and as you can see if i um oopsies if i go ahead and drop down the head channel um you can see how this is going to be setting to different dmx values between these ranges so this would probably be like what 30 something um and this would be you know four and a half that's what is is going on when you click the buttons so that is how you do 16-bit channels and uh, multi-cell creation. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, let's see what fixtures you can create.